Hi guys, welcome to my five month post VSG update. I am actually a day late. Yesterday I was sitting around just being sad about how slow my weight loss has been. And I decided to check, oh, I wonder how many days until uh, my month is up because I know I have a monthly update coming up soon. And whoops, it was yesterday, <laughs> that very day. Um, yesterday I was supposed to have done it and it I completely missed it. Forgot altogether. Anyway, um, here I am, a day late. <laughs> Let me give you my spiel. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 20th, 2016 in Morristown, New Jersey at Morristown Medical Center. Um, 5'8". My starting weight, high weight day of surgery was 265. Last month, I came to you at 203.9. Today I weighed in at 197.9, which means it is exactly a six pound loss for the month and 67.1 pounds overall. Um, I'm not unhappy, but um, I was certainly hoping for more. Like I said, my last couple of weeks have been kind of slow weight loss, I guess. I mean, it's definitely slowing down. So uh, my first month I lost 30 pounds and then 10, 10, 10, and this month six. <sighs> I mean, I'm not, com well, am I complaining? I guess I'm complaining a little because I want it to be more, but I'm not complaining. I'm not unhappy. Um, I was thinking that I think I'm actually exceeding my surgeon's goals, which is good. Uh, initially, my surgeon told me that um, he wanted me to lose or expected me to lose 10% of my starting weight in the first month and then 8 to 12 pounds after that for the first six months and then one to two pounds a week after that until I reached goal. So that would have been 26, eight, 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 right? Which is 32 and 26, that's uh, 58, and I'm at 67. So I'm exceeding my surgeon's goals, which is good, and um, I'm still moving in the right direction, so that's good too. I'm just a little disappointed, to be <laughs> completely honest. I, especially because this month, I feel like I said this last month too, and I've been saying it, I feel like it's uh, it's definitely getting harder, you know? Um, it, I feel like I could eat more and more, and um, it's not easy to just walk away <laughs> the way it was the first couple of months. And I, th I guess I'm just kind of afraid that my body will get used to this level of calorie input, calorie output. You know, um, I think like when you're newly post-op, you're like carrying around all this weight. And so like, it takes a lot of energy to just like exist. <laughs> you're burning a lot of calories just by walking, moving, existing. And at the very beginning, you're consuming so few calories that like the difference there is really shocking to your system. But now I think because I weigh less, it's easier for me to walk and move and go upstairs that like I don't burn as many calories just like existing. And I'm consuming more calories than I was initially post-op, right? So like, I feel like maybe I'm at a point where my body's just used to burning however many calories and taking in a thousand calories a day and maybe we're just stuck here and I mean I'm not stalled but uh, I'm just I'm worried <laughs> I um I feel like with this surgery there's a limited time window of like losing weight really fast and then it's back to losing weight like normal and um I hope I'm not yet at the point of like losing weight like normal <laughs> anyway I'm still working at it I'm still uh, I'm not like giving up or anything it's just a uh, that's where I'm at. I'm a little, a little disappointed, to be honest. As far as uh, food goes, uh, this month I have averaged uh, daily 1,116 calories, 98 grams of protein, 65 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fiber, and 55 grams of fat. Um, I feel like all of that has definitely increased since last month, but I'm also exercising a lot more than I was in the past. You know, what's interesting is that our body... Um, the last time I was this weight, I feel like I was a lot f more fit. Um, the last time, well, the last time I was this weight, first of all, it was my senior year of high school. So uh, that probably has something to do with it, that I was like 18, 17, whatever. Um, but I feel like I was really strong and buff and fit, like athletically fit. And this time I feel like I'm still flabby belly. And I don't know, my legs are strong, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of down about 
things. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a lot of flabby belly. I feel like I'm not as fit as I was. I feel like clothes that fit me back then don't fit me now. Um, clothes that fit me when I was, I don't know, 210 on the way up um, don't fit me now. And so, you know, I think just because I'm under 200 doesn't mean that I can wear the same clothes as the last time I was under 200, I guess. So I'm learning that too. Um, I'm in a size 14 currently. I mean, the 14s are a little loose, but I'm not yet in a 12. I tried on some 12s and they were very tight. So, um, I don't know. I'm learning, I guess. I'm adjusting. As far as uh, changes to supplements and stuff, uh, I think this is kind of good news. I no longer have to take chewable calciums. Now I can take swallowing calciums. Uh, so I found calcium citrates at the store and they're much, much cheaper than the chewable ones I was getting from Celebrate. So that's good on the pocketbook. And um, wait, did you guys know that when you take Tums on the label, let me show you, hang on just one second. Okay. Did you guys know that when you take Tums on the label, so like this one says Tums Extra Strength 750, that means there's 750 grams of, or milligrams or whatever of calcium in it. So if you're taking this, my nutritionist said, then you don't need the, that amount of calcium for the day. So for instance, I was taking 500 in the morning, 500 in the evening, and she said, okay, well, if you're taking Tums in the evening, then you don't need your evening calcium, which I do take Tums not every day, but many days. I'm no longer taking my... Um, prescribed whatever it was called for acid reflux. Now I just kind of take Tums once in a while. So that's uh, something I didn't know <laughs> that um, Tums can actually like replace your calcium. So this is like a chew, I mean it is a chewable calcium. So I guess sometimes I do chewable Tums <laughs> for my calcium and sometimes I do the swallowing ones. So that's kind of the only change in my supplements. Okay, so I'm just gonna do body shot, show you some pictures from uh, my starting weight last month and this month. It's only a six pound difference, but um, I feel like I see a little bit of a change. As far as working out, you know, I've been um, mostly running. I've been uh, doing 5Ks on my lunch break on the treadmill at work, um, but I also have started to incorporate resistance work for upper body. And I just, I want to do more of that. I know I keep saying I'm going to find a gym with a pool. There is a gym with a pool near me. I just haven't gone. So... I'm going to get around to that. I really am. I'm going to uh, take a weekend and go scope out the YMCA near my house and maybe start swimming again because um, I just feel like I'm not as fit as I used to be. You know, I was a, an aerobics instructor from 2005 to 2011, and for most of that time, I weighed, like, between 210 and 230, so, like, much more than what I weigh now, and I feel like I was so healthy. And not that I don't feel healthy now, I just, I feel like back then I felt like I could go run a marathon, and right now I don't, I don't feel that way. I just, I just see all this flab in my belly. So anyway, uh, time for a skin flick. Let me, uh, let me show you. So I'm gonna, uh, take off my shirt. And first of all, wait, let me sh <laughs> um, my, I, I, I've definitely lost some of my boobs. I, I don't know, I don't know if you can tell in this bra, but like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of room here. And, um, anyway, I haven't really bought a lot of new clothes, so maybe I need to do that. Maybe that'll help me feel better about the way things are. But, anyway, let me show you. So, um, I don't know if you can see, here are my incisions. So this is where my stomach came out. Here's another big one, and then I have these two little ones here. I do put lotion on them every day, but they're still pretty visible. And I don't know if that's just the way my skin is pigmented and that's just the way it's going to be or if those are going to diminish in time, but I guess we'll see. Okay, now let me uh, back up a little here. Okay, so um, this is what I look like now. I'm just in my little uh, pajama shorts so you can see. So um, I definitely, as far as my belly goes, definitely still kind of inflated. I feel like I still have a lot of weight to lose, and this is why, because I feel like there's just like so much fat here, you know. I know I'm not done losing because there's still a lot of places left to lose. Anyway, so that's my front. Um, my arms are pretty jiggly. I don't like that, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess, for now. Here I am from the side. Side, I feel like, looks okay. You know, I mean, even with, even with this, not too bad, I guess. And, uh, from the back. So, uh, this is going down nicely, I suppose. And, uh, from the side. And from the front. 
Okay, so um, okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple of pictures, and these are um, from my starting weight last month and this month. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.